Are you willing to turn today? See, sometimes some people want to say, give me that old time religion. But they don't realize that the old time religion is not only the hymnal. The old time religion is living for God. The old time religion is stop being wicked. The old time religion is to stop gossip. The old time religion is to love one another. The old time religion is to stop criticize. The old time religion is to turn from sin. The old time religion is that man is man and woman is woman. The old time religion means that your daughter can't live with man. Tradition. Give me the old time religion that honor God, that put God first. Glory to God. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. The Bible said, the Bible said, as children of Israel got there, they didn't believe that, not all of them believed they could do it to possess the land. Not everybody in our churches believe we can do it. Not every pastor in San Andreas believe we can do it. Well, I got to tell you the truth. I got to tell you the truth. Not every Christian believe we can do it. But there is a remnant that have had a dream about it. There is a remnant that God has given you a vision. There is a remnant that while you are praying, God drop it in your spirit. And you believe it. You are like Peter. For flesh and blood did not reveal it unto you. But nobody can take you out of it. Nobody can convince you that San Andres not only will turn back. It will become better because God gave you a vision. God gave you a word. God gave you a dream. And no matter what you see happening around you, everybody's frightened and says San Andres gone. But you say no start yet. that the devil begin to act up every time his sister the time is short the revival is so close he don't know what to do the bible said in the book of mark chapter 13 verse 34 for the son of man hear me today for the son of man is as a man taking a far journey who left his house and gave authority to Ono. Mark 13, 34. It said, For Jesus Christ gone on a long journey. And he left the house and gave authority to his servants. And to every man his work, you have a work in the kingdom. I said, You have a work in the kingdom. I said, Get up out of the pew and begin to work in the kingdom. He said, Jesus gone on a long journey. And he left the house. The problem is that for many years, plenty pastors have been preaching that the house is the church, but they never realized that the house is not the church. The house is the whole world. I said the house is the whole world. And the Bible said, not only did he leave us to take charge of the whole world, he gave us authority to manage it. My God. the church in charge to possess the land. He left us in charge to take over San Andres, Providence, Catalina. He left us in charge to establish his kingdom here on earth. He left us in charge to take over the land. Alright. You have to realize something. You have to realize something. When the children of Israel came to the promised land, there were giants in the land. But God gave them an assignment. He said, go and possess the land. But something happened. The children of Israel believe and think that God was coming down. And they only had to sit down right there by the border. Close to Jericho. Right by the Jordan River. And then when they walk in the land, they would find all the giants dead. But God was calling them that they had to get up and fight. They were expecting that when they get to the promised land, God was going to do all the work. But there was work for them to do too. And when they realized the giants in the land, they wanted to go back to Egypt. They said, we got to stir up the giant them. And it better we go back to where we went there. Because things begin to get critical. Make we steer right where we did. But God was calling them to be bold and courageous. When that generation failed, God called Joshua. 
Joshua. And he said, come here, boy, Joshua. He said, them people can't take the land. Them dead out in the desert because they had no faith. And God looked on Joshua and said, be brave and courageous. Brave and bold and courageous. God realized that the reason why his children did not take the land was because they was afraid. Now 